Hi, today I'm reviewing the Huda Beauty Winter Solstice Highlighting Palette. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchases. So this is a newer product from Huda Beauty. Um, she's come out with a few of these palettes. I, I'm guessing she's gonna start making this a seasonal thing, but uh, this sells for $45, and this is the Winter Solstice uh, Edition Highlighting Palette. Um, and it contains four different colors, um, and once I saw Arctic Glow, I knew I had to have it. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. Um, and since I didn't have any of her other ones, I always would walk by and look at them and kind of think, gosh, I got to get that. And then I'm like, well, I'll wait for the next one. And the next one finally came out. So um, the one thing I find a little tricky with it is the uh, formula. It's kind of a creamy powder, which probably for most people is very easy to work with. But for me, I'm, I'm always kind of like, do I use a brush? Do I use a sponge? Do I use my fingers? And for me, I found what works best for me is to use a very tight, tightly wound uh, brush. And that works wonders for me. Um, so I'm having fun using it on highlights, on my cheekbones, some um, eyes, eyeshadow. Um, that's what I really like about some of these palettes when they're very good at multitasking. You can definitely create many different looks, use them so many different ways. So that always makes it fun. So I'm gonna give you guys some swatches. Uh, the one color I really haven't used much of is Frosted Kiss. It's uh, it, it's just kind of a base color, I guess. Um, I used a little bit for my brow bone, but otherwise I haven't used that one as much. And um, so let me give you some swatches. Yeah, the Frosted Kiss is kind of uh, just a very light beige. You can hardly even see it, so. Um, let me give you swatches. Here's my favorite one. But the nice thing about this is that the uh, formula is so buildable. Um, you can go from uh, slightly opaque to fully opaque with a couple, a couple brushfuls. Um, so it's very nice that you can definitely build up quite the color. But isn't that absolutely stunning? And uh, after using this uh, a couple days ago, I realized that this looks quite similar to my new MAC Grand Illusion Lip Gloss color lunar module so I'm definitely be using those two together a lot very fun um, so I just had to put that in there because I love this very new from Mac so definitely worth checking out if you haven't checked it out yet and northern lights which is a goldish color but it's got a little bit of a duochromatic look which is absolutely stunning as well almost metallic finishes on these so and then Winter Rose is the pink. And this one is absolutely beautiful as well. But I really am actually going to enjoy the formula. And the other thing I noticed with Winter Rose is that it also looks similar to Rave Bunny, which is one of the new MAC Grand Illusion lip colors as well. So I think I'm going to be using these quite a lot in the next few days, just having fun trying different looks but uh, that was fun for me to realize that I wonder if subconsciously I picked out these two colors because that day I was wearing the winter solstice palette and maybe that's why these two jumped out at me more I'm not sure but something to think about but yeah I'm absolutely loving these I like the formula um, this one I think was made in Italy some of our other newer palettes the uh, little mini palettes the obsession ones those were made in China and I just noticed the quality was so different than her other palettes, which are all made in Italy, like Rose Gold and Desert Dusk. Um, so I'm not sure if that's why they're a little less pigmented and a little more crumbly. It's just totally different than her other palettes. Um, not to say that they're bad or anything, but it's just different. So if you're buying those expecting the same quality, um, you're going to be a little disappointed but this one was definitely manufactured in Italy and the quality definitely shows in it so so for me I'm going to give this palette two thumbs up and I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet or not um, and if so uh, did you like it or not and have you checked out any of her other palettes in the past and if so which ones and how did you like them so 
And then also, if you have any other tips on what uh, is the best application method, leave a comment. Um, I can always learn something from you guys, and so can everyone else as well. So I love hearing from you guys. And also, feel free to subscribe. I come out with at least one new review every day. And check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you, guys.